Hi friends, welcome back. Some of you saw this in our Zoom room today, but... All right, let's start. So this is problem string seven. Make sure you have something to write with. And paper, of course, we're continuing our over under strat. And so pause at any time you need to. Um, we're gonna start with 780 divided by 78. I know a lot of you are saying easy. Right, Miss Miller? Duh. We can work backwards and multiply. 78 times 10 gives us 780. So obviously 780 divided by 78 is going to equal 10. Nice work. Air fed. Since we know that, just like we did before, we're going to use that to build on it with our ratio table to see what we can do. So 78 times 10, 1 times 10, we know that 780 divided by 78 will get us 10. Let's keep building on this ratio table. How about 858? 858 divided by 78. Once again, use your patterns just like we did last time, right? So some of you will know and notice that 780 plus 78 more, one more group, so up here it would be plus one, will get us 858. Therefore, 858 divided by 78 gets us 11. Or another way to say that is 78 times 11 gets us 858. All right, keep looking for those patterns, friends. Pause anytime you need to. How about this one? 702 divided by 78. Some of you will notice, rightly so, that if we go back to this one, and we subtract 1 through the 78, and we go up to this one, we subtract 1, right? So we're thinking about our numbers and just getting a little flexible and creative with them. You'll notice this is 702, and this one is 9, okay? So 702 divided by 78 is 9. Another way to say that, nice, Karen, 9 through 78. 702. Pat yourself on the back if you've been following along. Nice work. We're going to try something different. This is going to be a two-part problem string. We're going to come back to this in the second part. But what if we were to take this number and expand it and say, how about 7,000? This is just a little line to show us we're making a new number over here. I'm not trying to make a number, but 7,020 divided by 70. So we're doing a new problem, 7,020. What do we know about 702? We could go down to our ratio table. 702 times 10, beautiful, is 7,020. So nine times 10, I'm seeing the brain working, nice friends, equals 90. And we know another way to say that, 90 times 78 equals 7,020. On that same track, let's do 6,942. I want you to use the patterns, press pause, I'll stop here, see what you notice, and then come back to it. We're doing another orange marker, right? So I wanted to make sure this was visible. But if we take away one group of 78, absolutely correct, we get 6,942. And if we take away one from 90, we get 89. So 6,942 divided by 
78 gives us 89. Air 5. All right, friends. Awesome. We are just going to do one more. No, a couple more. I lied. Sorry. A couple more on this track and then switch gears. How about 234? Remember, 234 divided by hmm, 78. Now we want to keep our ratio table in mind. I'm going to give you a minute of think time. If we were to go back all the way to 78, it might be useful to do a little ratio table here to see what is 2 times 78? What is 3 times 78? Actually, why don't we try that? You, you show me standard algorithm. Even though we've been jumping up and we've been jumping back, once we get really comfortable with ratio tables, it's okay if it doesn't all progress perfectly. So friends, it's a totally okay if even though we're all the way up to 89 times 78 equals 6,942, if we go back and go, let's just do times 3. <laughs> 78 times 3, we know 1 times 3 is 3, right? This is getting pretty wild looking. But let's see what that is. Friends, help me with the standard algorithm. 8 times 3 is, and in, Emma. Break. Yes, 24. 7 times 3. Beautiful, 21 plus 2 more, 22, 23. What? So, 700, I'm sorry, I pretend I didn't say that. 78 times 3 equals 234. Or 234 divided by 78 equals... Awesome, friends. Now, what happens if we expand on that? We're just going to do one more, keeping in mind our patterns that we learned above. 2,340 divided by 78 equals... Some of you might not even need the ratio table for this one. We know this one is 10 times more. So the answer has got to be 10. Another way to say that, 30 times 78 is 2,340. Please rewind, pause at any point if that didn't make sense, or for sure let me know. And I'm going to pause here. Okay, friends, so just really quick, um, I just want to show a different way than the ratio table to get the same idea. So we know that 10 times 78 equals 780. Hope you can see that okay, right? And so I just want to show you what some kids do. You don't have to, but to show this for the over strategy, over, another way to do it is just add 1 times 78 equals 70. And so we get the same thing as we would. 8 plus 0 is 8. 7 plus 8 is 15, carry the 1, 7 plus 1 is 8. So another way to show this, 11 times 78 equals 858. That's exactly the same work we did way up here and what we showed on the number corner here. I mean on the ratio table here. Just another way to think about it. The under strategy, under, same idea, just a little different, right? Someone might write 10 times 78 equals 780 minus 1 times 78 equals 78. And we already did this work, right? We discovered that 702 is the answer because that would be 10 minus 1 is 9 times 78 equals 702. So just something to think about as you're working with these. Okay.